What's going on YouTube? Birdman here with another Destiny 2 Titan build. Today I'm going to be showing off a super awesome combination using Well Mods, the Heart of Inmost Light, and Middle Tree Void Titan. Now before I get into the video, know you can follow me over on YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch at Birdman778. Make sure you give me a thumbs up on this video. It really helps us out with the algorithm and whatnot. Become a member and subscribe as well. And make sure you're using code BERT at GFIELD checkout for 10% off. Now, I mentioned that this is a middle tree uh, Titan build for Void class, and that's gonna be the code of the commander. Uh, first off, we get the banner shield, which is super awesome. We get that giant uh, rallying shield where our enemies uh, are able to penetrate through it, but our allies are able to shoot through it while getting bonuses to themselves. Uh, this is really nice because we can also like walk up to enemies and blind them with it uh, and activate these two different things. First off, tactical strike and controlled demolition. First off, tactical strike is super cool because whenever you strike an enemy with your melee ability, uh, it causes a void explosion so they'll get stuck with this controlled demolition here hit a target with a void ability to attach a void detonator further hits cause the detonator to explode dealing damage and surrounding targets now what's so great about this is that it will be able to spread to other enemies so if i hit one little shank right in front of me and it has a bunch of shanks in front of it uh, behind it it will get uh spread to them as well as the explosion uh goes further and further so this just makes it really great for mobbing scenarios just your in general strikes lost sector stuff like that because of the fact uh, you're able to just absolutely demolish entire areas with either a single punch or a grenade at the same time. Uh, speaking of grenades, we do have resupply on this as well. You and nearby allies regain health as well as grenade melee energy when your void detonators explode. So essentially the more explosions you're having with that void detonation, uh, the more energy you're getting returned to yourself as well as health. Now this is going to synergize perfectly with a bunch of well mods that we're going to have on this build. I'm not really going to cover weapons on this uh, other than the fact that maybe a couple different things that you might want to look out for. Uh, what's so great about this build, it doesn't have any specific uh, weapon restrictions uh, on it. I'm able to essentially use whatever I want because of the well mods and just the absolute synergy that we get uh, from our class already. Uh, now, I will say things like Wellspring uh, that you see here on my Imperial Needle will be beneficial just because it will help uh, generate that ability energy back uh, into our ability as we get kills with said weapon. So um, if I am like really close to getting a grenade or something like that, I'll pull this out, uh, do a headshot on an enemy, and I'll have my grenade back almost instantly. When it comes to our armor though, that's where it's really gonna need the focus. So first off on my helmet, uh, I always am going to focus on every single piece going into discipline. The higher discipline we have, the faster we're gonna get our grenade back, which is kind of a huge part about this build. Uh, you could go to something like intellect instead, so you, uh, you can feed into your super, uh, which could also work. But uh, honestly, the more ability energy that I'm getting, the better off I think this build is. So again, we went to that. Um, I do have a couple different ammo finders uh, on here just for my weapons, the, before I did this recording, I actually was running a master empire hunt. Did it solo, completely by myself, didn't need it with this build because it's so awesome. Um, but other things you can put in here is hands-on for just doing melee attacks, uh, get that super energy or power preservation. Uh, so that you can get some orbs for your allies. Again, this is kind of a absolute solo build, but it can also be a support build as well. And in the final mod spot, we're gonna put elemental ordinance so that we're getting uh, wells whenever we get grenade uh, kills. Now, do know that whenever you get a grenade kill and that controlled demolition goes off, it's only gonna give you uh, wells off the initial kill. It won't uh, keep on spreading or anything like that, or multi-kills with a grenade won't spawn you extra wells, unfortunately. Uh, but another well mod that we have on will kind of help uh, compensate for that. Now, when it comes to our arms, uh, one of the biggest things, again, we're gonna go into discipline. Uh, you might wanna go into one of these champion mods right here, but something like bolstering uh, detonation is really nice. Grants class ability energy when you damage uh, an enemy with a grenade. Uh, essentially, just helps with the absolute flow of this build because of the heart of inmost light that we're gonna be using. Uh, essentially, using all your different abilities, even your rally barricade or towering barricade is gonna be beneficial just because we're gonna be constantly generating energy uh, for those other classes. But, and the final thing I put well melee well maker again obviously getting those uh extra wells off of powered melee kills now this won't again count for the control demolition unfortunately uh but at the same time again we have plenty of things on this including our heart of inmost light that will compensate for that 
Obviously, the coup de grace of this build, the heart of Inmost Light, we love it. It's the best. Um, the ability reading, using an ability grenade, melee, or barricade, empowers the other two abilities. Empowered means abilities have faster regen, melees and grenades do more damage, and the barricades have more hit points. This is so great just because it's, again, the constant synergy, constant flow of this build is based around using your abilities. So uh, as I use a grenade, uh, I can run up to an enemy, hit him with my punch, and it's gonna do more damage, which is gonna feed back into my grenade, which I can throw, which is gonna do more damage. I can chuck up a barricade, so on and so forth. You get the point of it. This might be one of the like top exotics in the game for Titan, just for the fact it is so good for the in general modding play if you combo it with plenty of well mods. Uh, obviously, again, we're going with discipline on this. I always use concussive and sniper dampener uh, just because I don't wanna get one shot by people, especially like I mentioned before, we had just done the master empire hunt. Having these are always gonna be beneficial for you. And then finally, elemental charge, becoming charged with light by picking up an elemental well and you get two stack of that charge with light. That's gonna help with the next mod we're gonna be talking about uh, and how it uh, helps out the synergy of this build. Now, next on our boots, obviously we're going discipline. I always like to run that fusion scavenger because it helps out our fusion rifles and our linear fusion rifles. But finally, we have that firepower. That was that mod that we were just talking about. While charged with light, we're getting a portion of your grenade energy when you use your grenade, consuming one stack of charge with light. Now, this is great because first off, uh, we are going to be using that elemental charge. So whenever we get those elemental wells, we're gonna get charged with light and it gives us two stacks immediately. We're able to throw our grenade, get some energy back. And if it's a good enough grenade, we could almost have our grenade back instantly right there, which we can chuck it again. And then again, use up another stack of charge with light and get more grenade energy. This build has such great flow. Uh, with all of your abilities it, because of stuff like this as well. Uh, it's just so much fun to use. And also, I'm just such a simp for the Void Tree for <laughs> for, for uh, Titan just because it, it's so much fun. I'm so excited for Void 3.0 because stuff like this is just going to make it absolutely busted. And finally, on our Titan Mark, we're going to be running uh, particle deconstruction for those obvious linear fusion rifle stuff where you're doing some uh, discipline. And then I use Bountiful Welds. Now, this is one that if it ever pops up at Ada, you absolutely need to get it right then and there because elemental well mods that cause you to, uh, to get spawn elemental wells can now stack spawning additional wells for each copy uh, that you have equipped. Now, this is really nice just because we're going to be getting extra wells, which is going to be extra energy for us. Again, just making sure that we're able to constantly just chuck our abilities around uh, with nothing to worry about. Now, I always like to mention another exotic that you could put on this class uh, to kind of help out if you didn't have the Heart of Inmost Light. And what I would suggest would probably be the Doomfang uh, Pauldrons. Uh, just peel off the fact that you get uh, super energy for those kills, and it really just flows well with the Code of the Commander tree all around, especially with your super. Uh, you're able to keep that super up for a while, which still has that controlled demolition on it, so you're just getting just absolute crazy ad clear. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. Thank you so much for stopping by this video. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. This is such a fun build just because, again, it's going to be prepped really well for Witch Queen when it comes out and we get Void 3.0. I'm really excited. Uh, make sure you're checking out my Twitch channel because we're going to be prepping for that, doing different bounties, doing stuff with chat. So just stop on by. Let's vibe out. Have a good time. Make sure you're giving a thumbs up on this video, subscribing and becoming a member and checking out my other Destiny 2 Titan builds. We're going to be focusing a lot into that uh, in these upcoming months coming up to Witch Queen at the end of February. Uh, and then also, again, follow me over on Twitter, twitter.com slash Guys, thank you so much for stopping by this video. I hope you have a great night, day, or whatever it may be.